Okay, I'm putting this quick video together uh, to show you how to go through the key sequences necessary to pull up any potential exceedances that might have occurred on your aircraft. Real simple process from the main screen. Click on Menu, and we'll roll the arrow down to Data Logs, and click on the Push Select button, and this brings up all of your maximum value logs. Now, if you don't see maximum value logs at the top, that means another uh, page has been selected. You would push menu in that case and just make sure max log is selected. For example, if min log is selected, it'll give you the minimum value log. That's not what we're interested in. We want to go to max log, select that, and we see, hopefully you can see, we have 5,100 pound, foot-pounds of torque on this flight. 104% NG. Now likely that's not an exceedance. He just got up into transient and uh, probably right back out of it. As far as I can tell, there's no way to actually see the time value associated with that 5,100 pounds of torque. So what we need to do is download to a USB memory stick all the data um, on the, uh, actually not necessarily all the data, but at least the last 25 hours of data on the uh, MVP50 onto this, M this USB drive, thumb drive, so that we can then send that data to maintenance and they can plug that into the MVP software and see exactly if that was indeed an exceedance or, or more likely not. To do that, we want to exit out of the screen and we want to click one arrow down to USB and data recording and select that. We'll plug our USB thumb drive into the unit here and we're going to scroll down to write recorded data to USB and in this case we'll write the last 10 flights you can do 10, 20, 50, 100 so on and so forth all the way up to all of the flights but we'll stick with 10 push select to accept 10 write data to USB now push select to highlight no and click over to yes and push the button and it dumps the last 10 flights from the MVP to the thumb drive. Easy peasy. It's done.